the state of Georgia has been in a constant water battle with Alabama and Florida over the amount of water in Lake Lanier, which feeds Atlanta. They want to contain a lot of water in Lake Lanier, but that lowers the amount of water in the Chattahoochee River, which means less water for Alabama and Florida, and less water flow for all the animals and plants that live in the rivers and streams. This is the state of Georgia water policy rules. As you can see, only in the evening and morning and night can you do hand watering and sprinklers. That's because there's less evaporation during those times. There's certain times where on an odd even schedule you can do things like car washing and pressure washing your home. And then there's a whole list of things allowed at any time, like hand watering, and uh, drip irrigation and making sure your newly installed plants get enough water, you access the water from a private well or using gray water, which is your runoff water from your washing machine. We received our water bill in the mail today and I noticed two things right away. One, it was $5 more than last month because our usage was over a thousand gallons more. So we've been having this problem with a leaky faucet in my bathroom. And you can hear it dripping. This is actually pretty good. Josh has tried to fix it a couple times and it hasn't been fixed very well. I think we need to get a plumber in here. Okay, so I've started a little experiment of how much my bathtub drips in a certain amount of time. We're going to see how long it takes for that cup to fill up. It's uh, two cups. I don't know how many ounces. I'll figure that out. Car. We're going to wait till we go to the car wash because they recapture the water there. So what happens at certain car washes is the excess water gets reclaimed and filtered and used to wash cars again without having to leave. Okay, Susanna, Why do you see the water on the table? Do you see the cup of water on the table? Right. How about we it's left over. Can you give that water to Hazel and Stoli, please? Okay, good girl. Be careful. Good girl. Get down low. That's a good girl. Thank you. That's a spill. It's a little spill. What do you think, Stoli? You gonna drink the water? You gonna drink it? Yeah, not yet. But it needs some water. Are we gonna water it? It does look like it needs some water, but we're gonna wait till later. Okay, this is how we brush our teeth in our house. We turned off the water, we're brushing our teeth. Susanna's going to rinse her toothbrush. Andrew's going to rinse his toothbrush. And then you turn off the water right away, right? We don't let the water run. That's a good boy. Let's check it out. Ooh, it is full. Our faucet drips at a rate of one cup per hour, which is a gallon and a half over the course of a day, which could really add up. The benefits of being water conscious end up in your pocketbook because you save money on your water bill. I found this website wateruseitwisely.com with a hundred plus ways to save on water. One of my favorites is number 42, installing low flow shower heads. We have those in our house. 
we installed them when I was little and we went from having a lack of hot water to having enough hot water when four people needed to take a shower in the morning. So that one was very useful to us. 